Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bharat Nagpal. You're watching iGyan. Last week we checked out a foldable device and we got great feedback on that. And uh, this week we are back with yet another prototype, but this time around it's the Vivo Apex. <laughs> What do you think about a phone that is bezel-less, button-less, portless, and front camera-less? So when I first heard about the Vivo Apex, I thought that this phone is basically a concept that a company is trying to sort of show off and doesn't want to make it into a real phone. But holding the device in my hand makes me think otherwise. This is actually a really good device. The fact that it doesn't have any buttons or ports and the fact that it has this all glass design uh, makes it feel really comfortable in the hand. It fits really well in my hand. This phone is exactly what you would expect it to be. This phone is completely glass on the back as well as on the front. There is no USB charging port. There is no 3.5 mm headphone jack. Instead of the power button and volume buttons, you have a squeeze option that you saw on Pixel devices as well as HTC devices in the past. And depending on where you squeeze the device, you will either get a power action or a volume up or volume down action. The front display is entirely made up of a fingerprint sensor which can recognize up to three fingerprints simultaneously. You can register them together and use them individually to unlock the device. The display on the phone is a 6.4 inch AMOLED display and the colors are really deep as well as the entire display is quite vivid and bright so you'll thoroughly enjoy using this phone and the display that it comes with. The phone has Android 9 along with Vivo's own fun touch user interface. Not a big fan of the UI, but when the phone came to us, it didn't even have Google Apps, which is expected from a prototype device, but we managed to install some of these applications. Vivo's also replaced the USB-C charging port with a proprietary magnetic connector. Now this connector is quite robust, it pulls itself towards the phone. The magnetic connection is quite strong, but there is a reason that Apple decided to stop using the MagSafe connectors and that is because they tend to heat up. And we found the same thing was happening with the Vivo Apex, but the phone is still in a prototype stage. It's even pre-release, pre-pre-release. So this could potentially be fixed by the time the device comes out. From a performance perspective, the phone has everything that you would expect from a 2019 flagship device. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset. Along with that, this becomes the first 5G phone because it has the Qualcomm X50 5G modem. Now, because it does not have any SIM tray, the only way you can add a SIM card is eSIMs. Luckily enough, Reliance Geo and Airtel both offer eSIMs in India. So if this device does launch, it will launch with an eSIM capability. Now inside, there's 12 gigabyte of RAM and ample amount of storage at 512 gigabyte. Running games, if you're planning on playing PUBG on this, you can run it on extreme graphics without any problem. Running benchmarks also gave us a promising result crossing three lakhs on the Antutu benchmark. But like I said, this is still a prototype and uh, too early to tell what the final performance of the phone will be. Now for cameras on the back, there is a 12 megapixel camera, which is the normal camera along with a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera. Now the camera app was very basic and there were literally no settings or options except for the camera shutter button. In the prototype of the Vivo Apex, there is no front facing camera, but in the final phone, there might be a front facing camera possibly in the form of a pop-up or a in-display cutout. But at the moment, the Vivo Apex does not have a front-facing camera. So it has a lot of cool features that make this device really interesting. The first thing uh, that I think is really cool about it is the fact that now we finally have a full display fingerprint sensor on the front. What's also even more cooler about this is that you can register two to three fingerprints at the same time. So if you're lazy, you can just register both your thumbs on the phone at the same time. So all you need to do is hold both your thumbs on uh, the Vivo Apex and uh, you basically get dual registrations or you can have your two index fingers and it works really well. It would have been really cool and initially we thought that that's what's going to happen is that you need two fingers to unlock the device but that is not the case right now. Maybe it could be implemented since it's only a software thing. If it takes two inputs, it could possibly take two inputs to unlock the device. That would be really cool. 
Another cool thing that we like about the phone is the fact that the front of the phone and the back of the phone, both glasses, are speakers, so the front acts as your earpiece, whereas the whole back of the phone turns into a speaker. So if you're playing a game, you can really feel the game in your hands. And if you put the phone on the table while watching a video, the whole table converts into a speaker. It's a really cool concept. And I can't really demonstrate it on the camera, uh, but it sounds amazing and uh, it is really cool and interesting to see that something like this is already available today. So that was a quick hands-on, our first impressions of the Vivo Apex. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm not too sure about the charging mechanism. I wish they'd put in wireless charging, which this phone presently, the one that we have, does not have. Maybe the final version will have wireless charging. We are not too sure. What are your thoughts? Would you buy a phone that doesn't have any buttons or ports or any bezels or even a front-facing camera? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, as always, smash that like button. If you are not already a part of Team iGAN for some reason, go ahead and smash that subscribe button along with the bell notification icon to get notified each time we upload a new video. This has been Bharat Nakwal. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. I don't know if what we had was just a waste of time. You got 70,000 friends, but I am one of them.